Hello there. How are you doing? Hope it's going all right with the old uh, guitar practice and everything. If not, let me know. You know, pop a comment down below and I'll, I'll see if I can help you out. Right, on to our next chord, which is going to be A, A major, A. And my fingering is strange because I, I, I can't squeeze my fingers in the way that most people would play it. And so I basically play the A minor shape and just slide my index finger up to the next fret like that. And I, you know, I've been doing it for so long. I just do it in one one move, and you know, <laughs> my fingers seem to tuck under quite conveniently. So let's do something completely different. Let's try some finger picking. So uh, what you can do, um, essentially. There are lots of different ways of doing all sorts of things. Um, I'm not going to teach you uh, anything very elaborate, but just a basic finger picking style that, that's quite useful. And the principle that we use here is that we use the top three fingers on the top three strings, top in terms of sound, the higher pitch strings, and the thumb does the rest. So, you know, you pick a note and then you can just do that. And then you can come back down again. So. And, and so, yeah, if you just leave these fingers sort of let's glue that to start with and you'll find that they they get used to being on those strings and then the thumb for the rest you might find it, it it'll take you a while for you know the muscles to just get used to plucking the strings and everything so on to the song mad world by tears for fears written by uh, one of the uh, members of that band so in fact it was just two guys Roland Orzabal and it wasn't <laughs> done with finger picking um, it was very much a you know a, you know synth pop song with you know these these quite of you know percussive electronic sounds um, yeah did you like my <laughs> um, and and yeah, you know, there is another famous version, obviously, with, with piano and much slower. And you can do your own version with any of these songs. Um, you know, especially if you're just doing it for your own pleasure. I mean, it, you know, it's absolutely fine. Um, so let's give it a go. It obviously uses the chord of A, but it uses E minor, G and D as well. It starts on the E minor. OK, something like this. All around me are familiar faces Worn out places, worn out faces Bright and early for their daily races Going nowhere, going nowhere And their tears are filling up their glasses No expression, no expression Hide my head, I want to drown my sorrow no tomorrow, no tomorrow And I find it kind of funny, find it kind of sad The dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had I find it hard to tell you, cause I find it hard to take When people run in circles, it's a very, very mad world Um, and you'll notice that the changing from the G, sorry, the E minor to the G, quicker than uh, 
any of the other changes actually so the only other thing that uh, is worth mentioning is that that should be played on capo 2 it's in a different key than uh, e minor it's in f sharp minor um and soon we might cover how you could do that build your own capo with your fingers oh that's for another time though but um yes you i mean i i definitely haven't put the cap on because that's quite high for me already <laughs> i don't want it to be too high and be a bit uncomfortable because i'm really a baritone not a tenor um yeah and the only other thing to say really is keep practicing have a lot of fun with it and i'll catch you next time <laughs>